This is a video about converting a Volkswagen T5 van from diesel to electric. I bought the van for this purpose and it came to me with a broken engine. So I tore the engine out and all its ancillaries. Then I machined up adapter plate to fit the Siemens electric motor. I also machined the adapter and I didn't go for using a clutch uh, with this setup. I'm just using a straight adapter as many other people have done. You know, I worked some long hours putting this in, but it only took me a couple of weeks from getting the van to getting to this point. Quick little video. That is my heater that I'm zooming in on, a shiny tube. Let's go that way, that'll be better on it. We'll go that way. Anyway, that is the heater. At the moment I'm using the mains heater that's down there. It's that shiny thing you can see down there. Uh, that is heating up the vehicle nicely. Uh, got this pump running as well to throw hot water uh, down these pipes. And I need to put restriction in this pipe going up to our um, expansion tank because it was just siphoning around and making this very hot and everything else was uh, not getting the benefit so that's what I've done so far This is my heating system. The mole grips there, I've given a restriction because uh, I was having a lot of uh, fluid going up and down those pipes. It's sort of thermo siphoning around there, and all the heat was going into the expansion tank. So it's not what we want. Beyond that, so I might figure it's a little bit warm, but basically, it should be cold or cool, coolish. And the hot pipes should be the ones going into the heater, which is those pipes there disappearing through the bulkhead. This copper T is taking the uh, out from the um, mains heater. There's a mains heater, it's a block heater for cars in cold climates, stopping them freezing up and what have you. Making them uh, nice and warm before you drive them. Well, I'm using it so I can have a preheat on the van, so when I get in it, I don't have to use the heater straight away to warm everything up that's already warm and start my day of work with a warm van. So that's the heater which is hopefully going to be buried by the inverter very shortly when I've got that sorted. Uh, over here I have a vacuum expansion tank that's just gone in. I've 3D printed yet another bracket um, to take the fuse box and I'll probably go around like that. The fuse box will go in, in here. So that would be good, and that would be a fuse box for the power steering pump, which is that one there, which I believe is an E-Class Mercedes, I think it was, and uh, you supply power to that, make that work, and then we've got the vacuum pump there for the brakes, obviously, and that shiny tank that I showed you was for the vacuum for the brakes, and I'm also going to use a pair of sensors, or pressure detectors or whatever for switching it on and off so I'm going to make the relay latching that's the idea so it stays one sensor turns the relay on and it latches and then the other actually breaks the circuit so that'd be interesting so that's what I'm going to try and attempt to do with that it's this extension reel in the way sorry about that let's get out of the way and I've just rigged it up on a little battery at the moment to run that pump up there. I've got a bit of a hole in the bulkhead there because I've got no clutch um, hydraulics or clutch pedal now. That's now disappeared. So that'll freak people out if they get in it and try and drive it. Uh, and there's the motor and everything we've probably seen before. Uh, we have this plate there. The one that's right in the middle of the shot. And that is going to be for the DC to DC converter. A bit vulnerable up front and the chargers are both going to swell. 
two are going to stack on there at the moment. Hopefully we'll be able to afford a third at some point, giving me 10 kilowatt charging. Right, this is the battery box. I use templates to uh, work out what shape and size and what have you it's going to be. It's about to quite a long time. I've used parts of the Nissan Leaf, uh, those bits you see welded in the bottom of the uh, case. Those are actually came with the Nissan Leaf battery. Those are some of the cells. Uh, my cells are second generation, it's a 30 kilowatt battery and that's uh, part of the lifting mechanism. I've got one on either side that I use to actually lift the uh, battery into place. But it's quite weighty. It's 280-ish kilos, something like that. It's going to get a little bit heavier, but that will be in a later video. Uh, all that dirt on, the, on that uh, battery case the back of it it was my feet I was put using my feet to push it around it was, uh, it was quite a task to get it in exactly the right position and the cutoff switch you see the light red switch you ask the cutoff switch and I've cable tied that in the off position because the cables are just hanging out the front of the van at the moment and uh, switching that on would not be a terribly good idea Just seeing where I can't see. It's a very small gap appear through, so sorry about that. See, those cables going forward. Well, see all the cables, but those ones. Yeah, concerned about those. Alright, let's all pull back. Do, 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 do. So that's a lot of wiggling around. Oh, right, stabilise. Alright. That's the battery box. That is in there. That has all the batteries in it. Thinking we're gonna have a problem any minute. It's uh, nerves, yeah, drowning's running quite high. Sleep well tonight. That was heavy. Lifted it, its job, though. Bit of work to make it, but I've got it for a lifetime now. So I might change it, put new Mac Rams on it or something. But uh, yeah, it's a big bit of 80 by 80 box. Oh, stuff I was given, actually, very lucky. Anyway, there we go. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, cable tied in the off position at the moment, the old uh, cut off. <laughs> casting for the inverter over here we've got the furnace 
which is getting quite warm, it's a very cold day. It's the south of England anyway. Uh, that's my sand mould, hopefully. So we'll see, it might be a mess, it might work. There's a pile of aluminium, there is bits of rubbish. All gonna go in there, and make one of them. This is the inverter box and heat sinks finished. Uh, there's one of the heat sinks straight from the sand, uh, machined it all up. Uh, also, did a lot of 3D printing on the inside, making um, board holders and various other bits and pieces to hold cables and stuff in place. A lot of effort went into the inverter and a little bit of money as well. Uh, but unfortunately, I just couldn't get the open source uh, boards to work, and I had help as well. And it was very good help indeed, but unfortunately, we just couldn't get there. Uh, you can also see the DC to DC converter that's got the red and black cables coming out of it on the left and to the right of that you've got a silver box or two silver boxes and those are the Brusa chargers. Uh, I also put a charge point on the side of the house with help from an electrician and that's all wired up and working and I've now got it to the point where I can plug it into the van and it charges with those Brusa chargers. I put the front end of the van back on to see what it's going to look like. Um, I've motorized the VW badge and that opens. It's not perfect, but a little bit more work and a few more goes and I reckon I can get it quite decent. So that's my van. Thanks for watching. If you like, please do. If you hate, hate it. If you would like to subscribe, please do so. Hopefully there'll be more videos very soon. Thanks for watching.